Hello guys, this is DJ Boys 360 and today I'm going to show you how to use your MIDI controller for video games. So for those who are already subscribed to my channel for a long time now, you'll be seeing a video similar to this one. But the difference on this thing is we'll be using an alternative version. What we're trying to solve here is for those keyboards who can't accept more than three keystrokes at the same time, three keystrokes pressing down at the same time specifically. So that's what I have in my keyboard right now and it's very irritating when I play rhythm games. So that's why we'll be resorting to using a MIDI controller. If you have anything around, you can use that MIDI controller of yours to play a rhythm game. So let's search up Go MIDI translator. So what I covered last time is the translator pro. The problem in this thing is there's a time limit. So you have to keep on going back on the translator window just to refresh it. So what we will be using is the MIDI translator classic. So download that thing. So this thing doesn't have any time limit at all. Just have like a countdown at the beginning. But you can play indefinitely with this one. So I already have it. Let's just try to run it. And that's basically it. And some of the info about the product. So what specify this thing is you can't use this for any for earning money. So that's their requirement for this thing unless you buy it. I have compatibility issues, that's why I have it start up like that. So this, the countdown thing. All right, I plugged in my MIDI keyboard right here. So what you want to do first is go to MIDI in and click whichever MIDI controller they'll be sending MIDI messages to your computer. So in my case, it's the launch key MIDI. Quick check if it's working, just press any button on your MIDI keyboard and see if the lower left light is, is blinking. So mine is blinking, which means it's sending MIDI messages. So start with a new preset and let's add a new translator. Let's say a key up event for A. So just type in up A, double click it for properties and let's capture the note off for this one. I'll do fine, outgoing, keystroke emulation, key up event and click on the input field and press the key on your keyboard, hit apply. Let's make a key down event. Let's just duplicate it to make things easier. What's important in this part is if you press and lift it up before unticking the capture MIDI, you'll only get the note off. So that's why you have to do press the button down and uncheck the capture MIDI to get the note on. The next important part is whenever you press the same button, you always get a different velocity. So if I hit apply now and let's test it on notepad, it wouldn't work. With, well, it wouldn't always work because it's always finding that specific velocity. So what you want to do is replace the last two digits with a variable such as this. So hit apply. If I try it again in notepad, it should work fine. And I'll be trying my keyboard. Works the same way, the way we want it. So what basically happening here is it detects all velocities from 0 to 127 of dot on for this specific key. And it's able to translate. So we just rename that to down A, just to make things clearer. So what we'll be covering next is the CC controls. Let's add a new translator. The CC controls are these things, the track browser, the knobs, and maybe something else on other MIDI keyboards. So we'll just 
I want to emulate the enter key or return key. So let's go up, enter. I'll just type that in. So what's interesting in the CC control is that it only gives you two values, which is fine. So you, you wouldn't be needing the variables or else it will always keep on triggering the message because, well, in this case, the first two, first four digits are the same thing. So you wouldn't want to have the keystroke up and keystroke down to be the same thing. So let me just get the keystroke up. So there'll be note, well, the note of note off version of the CC control of this thing. Take that thing and keystroke emulation, key up event, hit apply, and let's add a key down event and let's capture the MIDI for on. Yep, that's the one. I'll just rename it to make things clearer. So down and there'll be the keystroke down for enter. So let's test it again in notepad. Should be able do the same thing your return key in your keyboard so if I try my return key in my keyboard or enter it's the same thing if there's a case that you assigned a keystroke down event first and you accidentally press the key that is assigned on your MIDI keyboard so let's try it in the notepad so if I do this it keeps on doing the same thing because the system doesn't recognize that you lift up your finger it's still detecting that you're still pressing it even though you're not so if you encounter this problem you just simply hit stop in the upper right corner of the translator so if we go back to the notepad it's now stop now in some cases if you hit stop again which is continue the translator would still do the same thing because the system still recognizes that you're still pressing the key so to prevent that, just press the same key on your keyboard. Should be good to go. If I hit stop again, and let's go back to notepad, should be good now. So I've already set up a template for mine. I already set up this thing. So let me just load that. No. So I'll be uploading this thing so you guys can have a look or if you have the same MIDI controller as mine, you already set up. So what I have here is a rhythm game setup. So like what you usually have, has some browser buttons right here. You can enter up, so and so forth. So with that, everything done. Just boot up a new game here, DJ Max Respect 5. So this is my first time launching it. Let's see how this game looks. I'm pretty excited about it. And it's in Korean. If I can read that. Okay, it's still in early access, so I'll be expecting some errors in the display around here.
sick intro right there. Get the nice uh, menu screen right here. So what do we have here? Press any key to pay your respect. All right, all right. You know what that is? Press F, pay three. All right, what do we have here? So freestyle. All right, let's go with freestyle. Oh, we got marshmallow over here. That's cool. Alright, let's, let's just jump right in here. Is this chart even key sounded? Alright, we'll find it. I'm gonna let go of the controls. I guess it's not key sounded. I think it's maybe they couldn't afford the licensing or the project file for this song. I mean, it's much more after all, right? It's gonna be expensive to get this one. Out some nice beats in this house. I guess you can call it house music. <laughs> I don't even use simple as this, but it's kind of kind of weird, I guess. stuff marshmallow in this game that's something new hold on a sec that gave me an idea marshmallow woke out his own mixer and dropped some nice beats what if i woke out my own mixer and whoop out some nice beats. All right, I'll be right back. I'll set up my stuff and see you guys in a while.
the same again. The gift is weird. It's awkward. Awkward to use. Yeah, that first is hard to recognize. Just a really nice input. 